Banks invest in variable rate treasury bonds to make extra cash when times are good. The Fed funded quantitative easing with variable rate assets. I know this is complex, but I'm getting to it here in a second. I want to show you this from the Congressional Budget Office. Most of these assets purchased by the Federal Reserve pay interest at fixed rates, but the bank reserves issued by the Federal Reserve to pay for those assets have been variable interest costs. In other words, in an attempt to inject cash into the system uh, and then reining it back in, the Fed drove themselves into the red. They did exactly what's hammering the entire U.S. banking system right now. Thank God there's no panic or an emergency. This banking system, by the way, is the same banking system that yesterday, Glenn, this will never happen, Moody's downgraded to negative. And they say this isn't a sign of a larger problem. They say this isn't something systemic. Well... I may be going out on a limb here, but I don't think I trust the experts right now. Inflation is still out of control. The, the uh, budget that Biden just gave is almost $7 trillion. The Fed will have no choice but to continue to raise interest rates, which will put both themselves and every other bank caught in the web to incur losses. But if they don't raise interest rates, then inflation continues to rise. What happens to small and medium banks in this scenario? How do they survive? Maybe a bigger question is, and the right one is, how do you survive? And does the Biden administration even want the banks to survive? I mean, the little ones. Do you remember what um, uh, that socialist that Biden nominated for the comptroller of the currency said? She believed that the U.S. banking system needed to be completely revamped. Small banks would go away and the Fed would be the grantor of loans. Now, if that's the eventual goal, how do you get there? And what is the eventual goal? Let me put this in Marvel terms. A major banking crisis, think Infinity War. And central bank digital currency, End game. I don't believe they care if some of the banks collapse as long as they aren't the banks connected to the Fed. Everything will move toward their desired endpoint. And that endpoint, in my opinion, is a Fed controlled digital currency. It is the ultimate control mechanism, and it is coming. Recent amendments to the U.S. commercial.